what I got here is half a sheet of plywood that I ripped in half by hand, set up on the saw horses. Normally I use a saw board to guide the saw so it's nice and straight. This time I didn't, I just drew a line by hand and I used the hand saw freehand and that results in a pretty wavy cut. So what I wanna do with this is straighten that and I'm gonna do it on a table saw. Now normally I don't like to cut larger pieces of wood on the table saw because they, usually result in a not you know not a great cut because they're too bulky or hard to handle but since this is just half inch plywood and I don't need a perfect cut on the other side it just needed to be relatively straight I'm going to do it on the table saw now my table saw is in the middle of my shop so I have plenty of room on that side and on this side to cut an eight foot long sheet I also have and this is very important an outfeed support right here so like I said, I ripped the sheet in half, so it's roughly 24 inches wide now. And to get rid of that rough edge, I've set my fence to 23 and 3 quarters. Make sure that's tight. I've got my blade adjusted so it's not cutting any higher than it absolutely needs to to get through the wood. So now that I'm all set up, I'm going to take my sheet and get it in position here. And make sure, absolutely sure, that there's nothing in the way when I want to make this cut because it's going to be too late once you start. Looks good on the in feed, there's nothing there. I'll just quickly run it through on the out feed and check it there. And it looks like I'm going to hit my vise on the end there, so that's not good. Now to fix that, I can either move my table saw a little bit, or I can add something here that will actually catch the piece of plywood as it comes through and it'll ride up on top of it so that I'll get the clearance that I need. So I'm ready to start my cut now. I'll pull my sheet back, all the way back here, check my fence again, make sure it's tight and it is, start my saw and before I do that I'm going to show you how I'm going to hold the sheet. I'm not going to try to reach the other side over there. I'm going to hold it from this side over here. I'm going to hold this end up, lift it up, and I'm going to use this hand to push it down. And when I'm pushing it through, I'm going to be watching the fence. I won't be watching the blade. I'll be watching how tight the stock is against the fence and make sure that it doesn't move away from that. The other thing is you want to make sure that you're always in control of the workpiece. Never let go of the workpiece as you're pushing it through. Although the risk of the kickback is lower with a larger sheet like this, it's still a risk that you shouldn't be willing to take. Want to make sure that the saws come to a complete stop before you move the stock. Safest way to handle it. Like I say, don't be in any rush. There's no race to the finish here, especially if you're doing this as a hobby. Now take your time and be safe. And looking at the cut, it looks pretty straight. And it will be as long as you're able to control the piece and keep it up tight against the fence.